in the previous lecture we have learned about total probability that is if a task is given and if it can be done via two sub events which leads to our main event then the probability of the main event is probability of the sub event into probability of the main event with respect to the sub event and the other one fundamentally the task is being done via two different ways so we calculate the first one we calculate the second one we add both that becomes the total probability now bayes theorem is basically an extension to total probability and here we talk about happening of one event based on the previous event that is if we want to find the probability of a given e then we could say it as using conditional probability we can write this as p of a and e by p of e and using multiplication theorem we can rewrite this as and p of e can be taken from total probability if you closely observe this numerator is actually part of the denominator also that is when you have an event which is done in multiple ways we are trying to calculate what is the probability because of one of the favorable cases so this can be thought as one case from all the possible cases for the total probability i hope you got the point all right let's take one example here i have taken example which we have discussed already in the last lecture on total probability where the event was reaching home and we have three different mechanisms that is the bus car or motorcycle and here are the possibilities of happening of these three events and the probability of being late via these three modes and in the question we are asked to calculate the probability of being late so what we have done we have calculated because of the bus then we have calculated because of the car and because of the motorcycle now what if the question is something like this you are late and what is the probability that you have taken the bus that's probability of choosing bus given that you are already late and this can be solved using bayes theorem which is we need to take this particular case upon all the cases so this is and this is the formula using the bayes theorem and when we substitute this becomes here you can clearly see we are taking one of the case from all possible cases and when we solve this it comes to be 2 by 5 here we have a question a class has 20 boys and 30 girls in an examination five boys and 10 girls secured a grade what is the probability that a student picked at random is a boy whose grade is a to solve this let's draw this schematic diagram a class has boys as well as girls boy can secure a grade and even girls can secure a grade the number of students in the class is 20 boys 30 girls so 20 plus 30 that is 50 boys are 20 girls are 30 and number of boys who scored a is 5 and the number of girls who scored a is 10 with this we can even write the probabilities from the class if we pick up a boy the chance of getting a boy is 20 upon 50 that is 2 by 5 similarly choosing a girl is 30 upon 50 3 by 5 and a boy getting an a grade is 5 upon 20 that's 1 by 4 and girl getting an a grade is 10 upon 30 that's 1 by 3 the question asked is probability that a student picked at random is a boy whose grade is a that's probability of a boy and he's having a grade a and using the bayes theorem we can write this as and when we substitute these values we get 1 by 3 